bit further prove we don't have to wait till next week prime catcher prize though not a great start yeah that's a really important one of obviously you're so heavily tied towards your professor sada's vitality as your crucial support of the turn so the prime catch is even more important you've got a peek at andrea's prizes there he's playing an arceus uh, v-star variant with giratina andrea's actually played a lot of uh, arceus builds all year pretty much so it's going to be sticking with the tried and trusted arctina this was like a tough matchup for him though because of the high damage output of the raging bot yeah Let's see how this one plays out. Yeah, I'm a little worried. You've got to start with Arceus, but at some point in the game, that Arceus just begging to be brought into the active and KO'd with one of those Sandy Shocks of Christians. We do see a Giratina and an Arceus, and two Arceus hit the board with an attachment. That's kind of perfect turn one. It's a textbook opener for Arceus to get your attachment. You're holding on to Ultra Ball for V-Star next turn. That's one of the main strengths of Arceus. Andrea is a really high-performing Italian player. Uh, this season and just rocking a consistent Arceus V-Star deck pretty much the entire time so cool to see and it means that you need so little in those openers and uh, it's enough for Andrea here. Christian has led with the Sandy Shocks, the single prize attacking option in the deck list as well as Radiant Greninja which can get into the action thanks to the Palkia V-Star and can immediately discard an energy and that's one of your mini goals here as a Professor Sada based draw engine that you can thin some energy out of the deck but also discarding these energy is so important so you can unlock your Professor Sada, not just for energy acceleration, which is of course mandatory, but also going to help you draw cards throughout the deck. And it's not just Professor Sada, Palkia V-Star accelerates from the discard pile, Sandy Shocks attaches to itself from the discard pile. You are basically piling energy on, yep. but all three of your ways where you accelerate it all happen from the discard pile, so energy in deck? Nah. Let's try and get it in the discard as fast as we can. Yeah, we'll get them back one way or another. We're then going to see the poker gear and Christian already making no secret of the fact that they really need to hit something off this. <laughs> that was one of the most expressive poker gears I've ever seen. And we're taking a think. Oh, <laughs> Let's have a look. I mean, most the of... hand is full of energy. Oh, that is not good. I what mean, do we see? Well, there's Iono. I mean, you want Sada here, ideally, but only if you can discard. So it is going to be an Iono here. That is not ideal. Your goal here, turn one, going second, get two energy in a discard, play Sada, off you go. Get two energy on the board, draw three cards. That is how this deck functions. At least it's a relief that Christian can see a few additional cards here because the Sandy Shocks is a little vulnerable. Uh, actually plays a ton of high hit points basic Pokemon. That Raging Bolt EX's huge 240 base could be massive in this matchup, as you've already mentioned, Ross. Uh, so finding some of these basics is going to be really important on the other side of this hand. Well, we do see Squawkabilly, so you can at least get a reload. Actually, a huge number of Pokemon here. This is a really nice six cards from Iono. Yeah, and with love to our co-caster, Shay, we're just going to give him one. And there's a Lord Longneck <laughs> hitting the board. Just yeah, we're you, only doing that once. <laughs> <laughs> We do see more ball search. Does the Squawker Billy want to come into play? Of course, it's a vulnerable lower hit point Pokemon that Andrea could even use boss's orders on next turn. Uh, Going to see an Ultra Ball getting rid of Irida, which is also a one-of, and another Ultra Ball here, just to reload the hand a little bit. Yeah. Ready Greninja is a nice backup draw option you have in the deck. Greninja is lovely. Backup draw and can hit some bench damage if you need to. You've got Palkia V there, ready to V-star next turn as well. If you can just start getting a bunch of energy in the discard bar, that was the annoying thing. Like, yeah. in your opening hand, you have a bunch of energy, and then you are, you know, and then you've got a bunch of Ultra Ball. <laughs> you kind of want a bit of energy and a bit of Ultra Ball, so you can search while getting that discard rolling. That's the dream. We're going to see the Squawk and Seas from Squawk Ability X to draw an additional six cards. And we do see those energy coming straight back into the hand. So the Radiant Greninja will get some value this turn. I'm imagining some water energy hitting the discard pile because there's a Palkia in hand for next turn. We actually have another Vessel first to thin even more energy out of the deck. Yeah, I don't mind this at all. It'd be lovely if you could do this before using Squawk Ability because if you can get a lot of energy in the discard early, that really opens up all of your cards. Now remember that Sandy Shocks, you have have to wait until your opponent's got four or fewer prize cards remaining, but then that gets an extra one every turn. Palkia V-Star has a V-Star power, the once per game, that accelerates free energy, and there's Sada that puts one energy to each of two ancient Pokemon from your discard pile. So you really do want to get that energy in the discard pile early, because the goal here with Raging Bolt is get a bunch of energy on the board, and then you can discard it from anywhere and deal 70 for each one discarded. That adds up quick. It's one of the few decks in the format where you can be like, <laughs> Kiratina V-Star, oh, 270 hit points and no weakness. Nobody cares, mate. Couple extra cards for Christian, who can just end the turn with no pressure, but ultimately will be setting up for the following turn, which I think is fine. 
haven't seen an attachment for the turn yet, of course, so we can start to get to work on this Raging Bolt. It means you don't need Sada necessarily next turn if you use Palkia's V-Star power to help you get over the line for damage output. More Earthen Vessels coming in. Christian making no secret of the fact that that is a mini goal for the archetype. Yeah, discarded the last fighting energy, but goes and gets another one. You need one in hand to attach next turn, because it's a it's an awkward one being a dragon Pokemon. It's a lightning and a fighting energy you need on Raging Bolt, which is not ideal. And there's water energy in the deck as well, but it works because you discard and you pick out of the discard. That's how you make the awkward energy work most of the time. How is Andrea's hand shaped up after the Iono. I see Nestball. I'm not sure if I saw Search for Arceus V Star, though. He could have just randomly drawn six and had a pretty bad whiff from it. And there was Ultra Unless there was something I was missing. Yeah, it was in the previous hand, that's but it got shuffled saying. to the bottom. That's, yeah, that's my point. Got shuffled to the bottom. If you miss it now, that's a, it's a really cheeky Iono to six, which makes a huge <laughs> difference. Andrea really taking a think here. What is the best option? You may just be limited to using a Trinity Charge here this turn. Oh, there's two double turbo in hand, I saw. Yeah, I don't think there was much help. Well, we're getting some energy out, so yeah, maybe Charge is going to be the attack choice after this Badoofa search from the Nest Ball. The barrel's in hand, so that opens your hand up a little bit next turn. At least lets you draw some more it cards. It's a shuffle, though. The fact that we're shuffling the deck means there might be an action here before a Trinity Charge. Let's hope that Andre has a better hand. The good news is a single prize Sandy Shocks is actually kind of awkward. It, it only does 180 with weakness, so you probably are going to have to use a bigger Sandy Shocks, but you really need your opponent to be on four prizes remaining. And then it's four energy on a Raging Bolt, so that Arceus V is at least an awkward number with 220 HP. Yeah, and actually the Sandy Shocks doesn't hit for weakness with its first attack, so oh, its, its maximum it would be 120, and that would be committing two energy to the, the power gem even. So it's nice that it's just up in the active, so you're not threatened. You know, your multi-prize Pokemon aren't under threat. But yeah, it's a big miss from Andrea from this random Iono to six. It's not worked out nicely. It's just going to fill some energy across the board. And now Tempo is back for Christian here. How can he capitalize on this situation where he's been gifted an extra turn, essentially, to start building? We're going to start with Radiant Greninja for a couple cards. Not sure if there's a Sada in hand, though. I think I see Boss's orders. We also have to move this Sandy Shocks more than likely. Unless we do just want to poke. That's it's going to be a turn ideal. attachment to the Sandy Shocks. So it's a slow start for both players here. Yeah, this is not you what you're You could take out Badoof, for. perhaps, but taking a one-prize knockout isn't really helping your map too much. You know that your opponent done, uh, didn't have V-Star and used their one search card for Badoof. So maybe just by predicting what your opponent's looking for for next turn. Yeah, it's going to be the Bidoof. I think this is a really heads-up play from Christian. Doesn't help your prize map, but you know that that's all Andrea did last turn. So just take it away from them. Oh. Uh, it doesn't have enough energy in play. Chose not to use Palkia's V-Star power, so it's just a 20 damage prod here. Oh, that's awkward. You need free energy in play to activate the extra damage on Correct. the Sandy Shots. Could have used Palkia, and I think in just one second we are going to see the Bibarel evolve up, and Christian might... I mean, you don't want to use the Palkia when you're not getting full value out of it, but I think that might have been worth it. There was a chance to basically lock Andrea out of the game early with no mm. draw. Oh, I think the hand was literally Bibarel and free double yes. turbo. Yeah, the hand was awful if this Bidoof was KO'd. And you did see Andrea going for a Squovit there as well, yep. so going to be able to shuffle this is incredible. All you can the reload the full hand, yeah. Uh, it means that you have much better access towards your V-Star. And if you have your V-Star power, then you can find Switch or Jet Energy. Both could do the job quite nicely for you. Actually, Switch already in hand. So it can go straight back into Arceus. And now you can bit barrel and use Nest Dash to get a fresh five. Yeah. So possibly you can even save your V-Star power altogether if you draw the right combination from the square bit bit barrel combo. Absolutely. I even showed the double <laughs> double turbo. This is saying, how bad you really my want to cut this to the same, I promise. <laughs> and that's the thing, square bit lets you basically go down to a new one card hand. And when you've got a handful of unplayable cards, it's perfect. When combined with Bibarel, it basically means get You're a joking. brand new hand of five. It's another miss of ha Bull Search or no. V-Star. No support. Oh, my good. oh there, there's is that Iono. Iono. Yeah, there's a Pade and Fakes Iono there, but that's not exactly what you're looking for. When your opponent's I'm, not playing supporter cards, yeah, you don't want to give them a fresh six. Yeah, you know your opponent whiffed Sada last turn, and you want you want to keep them away from that Sada, but sooner or later you've got to start doing something, and there's not enough energy on the Giratina to start attacking yet. 
Ooh, the retreat, interesting. Retreat, no, it's gonna be just an attack here. Once again, Trinity charging up. Andrea wanting to keep the high retreat cost. Sandy Shock to the active, thinking it's possibly helping him out right now. And I like the choice to not use Iono, because yeah. if you do Iono and just take a one prize knockout, you're gonna end up losing that race very often, I think. You have to respect that Christian's damage output can get ridiculous on certain turns. You want to take the first two prizer and hope you can keep up with the yeah. prize trade because Christian's Tristan's big attackers are all two prizes. So the yeah. goal is you just start trading two prizes. You want to get the first one, and you had something to do. Like your Trinity yeah. charge isn't perfect, but you're getting energy on the board. You're building up your attackers. It is better than nothing, and it's better than giving your opponent a new hand. Now we're over to Christian. What has he drawn? He's got the lightning for. Raging Bolt. It's another Lightning going on to it. <laughs> it's the third energy attachment, so at least you're starting to pressurize with your Sandy Shocks a bit. Yeah, but, but you I think it was a flunk from the Radiant Greninja. It didn't help out too much. I think there's Poker Stop in hand, but that doesn't help you too much the way the list is built. You don't there know. are Poker Gears that could help you out, possibly. That would be the only thing you're looking to hit. Yeah, you've got your... You don't have a fighting on Raging Bolt, so that's not on board. You do yeah. have a... You can knock out Squovit with Boss. Yeah, you got Boss in hand. There should be 20 damage. Oh, yeah, there is 20 damage on the big barrel, but obviously with no weakness being hit right now, you can't bring that back up. No, so Christian doing kind of what he can, but it's still not ideal. No, Taking you one prize isn't, isn't great. It's not. You would have needed to put the second energy on the Sandy Shocks to get the Bibarel, which yeah. there was an argument for it, but... He's taken a prize. It's, it's not ideal. Andrea here really just... I mean, you're in a decent position now. You need your Arceus Feast on, oh, which you just finally. top decked. <laughs> That'll do nicely. Now you can go and get any two cards with your V-Star power with that Star Birth. And now you want to be taking out a two-prizer on the bench, which you can. Well, do you go for a potential gust and just begin initiating with Giratina V-Star for like the remainder of the game. Taking out either Palkia V-Star or Raging Bolt sounds like great options here. Because you got two turns of Trinity Charge, I think yeah. you can. You've got enough energy on the board early. Yep. Yes, you have to lose zone two when you attack and that's not ideal, but you got three energy on one Giratina, two on another, and you've got your Arceus up and rolling with a Squawkabilly on the bench. Yeah. So you attack with two Giratina, one into the Lord Longneck, one into the Palkia. <laughs> said once, Ross. I know, sorry. I just really like Shane. He's a very lovely man. And then you've got your Arceus into your Squawker, Billy, for the final two prizes. It, it works out quite nicely. Well, here we go. Andrea agrees. Going to jet energy a Giratina V-Star into the active position. That's going to waste no time trying to pressurize Christian. Going to draw some cards first with the barrel. Hope to save your V-Star power whenever you can. That's ideal. Oh, that's hit the prime, prime catcher. catcher. And that's good enough. Now you're just going to dance between your Giratina. <laughs> and it does bring up the... Ancient Ranging Bolt EX, 240 base hit points, can be cleared away quite easily with Lost Impact here. Yeah, that's what I would have gone for, because Ooh, if you attach a fighting, that can actually KO a Giratina. Palkia doesn't KO Giratina. So you're forcing a Raging Bolt with Professor Sada shenanigans. It's, it's awkward at that point to get the return KO. I'm a little surprised with the V-Star power being used here from Andrea. It felt like your turn was pretty much done. You've already attached. You've already found the ideal play with your Prime Catcher. So I kind of like just holding on to another Arceus V-Star power for a later time. So you, you don't have to worry about the barrel maybe whiffing. What you've done is got another Arceus into play, which is a bit more hit points, but doesn't actually change the game plan too much. It's going to be a judge, I think, here from Andrea. Maybe that was the other card and the yeah. reason why we're going for this play. No supporter played, of course, this turn. I quite like that, honestly. It's a KO and judge. Yeah, I think the Sada variants, they have to commit energy to specific Pokemon. So putting Christian down to four cards to find a Raging Bolt and a Sada and like other options to get it into the active is a lot to ask for next turn. Yeah, because you need the fighting and the lightning, but only one of them can come from Sada. One has to be attached manually. You need to get it in the active. It's it's a lot to ask for. Sandy Shocks will be turned on next turn, incidentally, so you can True. start building up energy that way but you need to get it onto the Raging Bolt. And I, I love this from Andrea. I really like the judge. <laughs> Straight up saying you won't be able to deal with this Giratina because I've just used a judge oh, against you. Oh, oh. The disrespect. <laughs> Showing, yeah, getting rid of the double turbo from the Arceus, so even keeping yeah. the energy. And I think he's right. Yeah. It is possible to KO the Giratina, but he's asking a lot to get there. Well, there's Poker Gear and Ultra Ball in hand, so maybe Christian can piece together a Raging Bolt. You can use Palkia V-Star to get energy to help you out in that cause as well. The Palkia does hit the Sada. 
I think getting the energy on the board is going to be easy. My yeah. issue is getting the fighting and lightning on the raging bolt and then getting it active. Yeah, I think we need to find the other energy from the Sada draw three, I think, most likely here. Because we can ultra ball a raging bolt. Sada will be drawing three, and we need to find the other piece of the puzzle. Whichever energy is attached via the Sada, the lightning or the fighting, you then have to draw into the other piece. Yeah. And that's tough. Even with vessels remaining in the deck, Christian used quite a few in the opening stages of this game just to thin some energy in the, in the opener. And if you hit a lightning, if you go lightning with Sada and then you draw a lightning, that's not going to do it. And you, you kind of got to look towards the future a little bit and try and figure out what's more likely to actually hit. Now, it does depend what's in the discard here because the, 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 the energy lineup is awkward. Oh, there's yeah. a, it, no, it had to be lightning. There's only three in the deck and yeah. there's two in the, three in the discard. Yeah. So there was no decision. You had to go lightning. You need is to draw fighting? fighting? No. no. He can still, can he draw from Greninja? No. There's no energy in hand at all. How Palkia shape up? Can you weave in your Radiant Greninja? Not too easily. Hmm, this is an awkward turn. The judge has done the trick here. Andrea was right to keep energy on the active. It's oh, a concession a immediately concession. from Christian. I think because we're playing an aggressive archetype, giving yourself 35 minutes on the clock to win two more games makes a lot of sense to me. It's a great win from Andrea there with identifying the weaknesses of the engine that his opponent was using and took a patient game, really. It was a bit of cat and mouse in that opener. Yeah. Still found the way to safely get enough energy on board to initiate a sweep. I love the way Andrea played that game. Congratulations going up one to zero there were turns where they could have pushed yeah where they could have done more where they could have gone aggressive and taken single price KOs and they're like I don't need to mm -hmm. I am gonna take and it's what we said take the first two price KO Andrea took the first two price KO and then combined it with a judge and then basically said to Christian you have to return this turn yeah. you have exactly one turn to KO this Giratina if you don't I'm going up four prizes and there's no way you win Christian couldn't do it and I think there's a lot to be said you've got 35 minutes minutes at that point you've lost the game maybe there's like a five percent chance you get back into it that's not high enough try and win the next two yeah it's no surprise that these two are such high caliber players andrea is currently sitting at third in championship points in italy christian at sixth so they'll know each other well i'm sure and maybe even play tested this matchup who knows <laughs> because they seem to have both piloted quite nicely andrea identifying the right time to judge i think that's one of the strongest options that arceus has it's one of the best decks at utilizing judge because you often have your own v star to fall back on or bit so one of those two things means that you're always getting out of your own judge and obviously you thin the deck of your energy naturally as well so you can survive judge quite well but against these aggressive archetypes sometimes hand disruption is just your best defense yeah it worked absolutely beautifully hand disruption plus a big KO has always been a good thing to do I love the square of it the morale combination yeah. coming out oh, yeah. feels like it's been forever since I saw that combo but it's a wonderful combo it's a way of it, it basically turns Bibarel from a draw until you got five cards in hand into a shuffle draw five yeah, and that's a huge difference, especially when your power spike cards in Arceus Giratina is all supporter cards. These are the cards that can clog up your hand with the barrel. So shuffling to the bottom, looking for a fresh physical five, sometimes even six, if you can play the card that you draw from Squovit straight away, means you can yeah, really churn through that deck in a much more aggressive manner. Yeah, and let's be clear, Raging Bolt still has a good chance. Oh, Prime Catcher Prize will not loving one side. Both players, actually. Oh, no. <laughs> I suppose it's fair. Yeah, it does balance things out as we are getting into this game two here. Christian has the Palkia lead, has energy for this Raging Bolt in the active. Vessel can do the classic discard to find more play. I kind of like this. There is a Poke Gear in hand. So if that Poke Gear turns into a Sada, not obviously turn one going first, yeah. but this could actually turn into a much, much better start from Christian here. It's going to depend on whether the Poke Gear gets a oh, Professor man. Sada. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, if it does. Sure does. <laughs> The, the poker gear is going to be a massive turning point here. I think you just hold it for another turn to essentially have an eight card dig. Oh, give yourself top deck plus poker gear for next turn because we're really crossing our fingers for that to work out. Yeah, I think you have to leave poke gear till next turn. Hope it hits. If it does, you're going to be in a good position. And of course, you're turning off the possibility of a big turn one KO going second. But of course, Christian's going to get a second turn before actually Andre has been able to evolve up. That's why Christian's gone first here. Basically going, I think whatever's in the active that isn't V-starred, I think on my second turn I can KO. That's what you're going for. We're going to see a quick burn of 
of the cancelling clone. It's cool to have a Greninja cancelling combo in this deck list. It's a nice surprise factor card, but not ideal in this matchup. No. And you know you're up against a judge deck, so at any point in your hand not only could be taken to the bottom, but could be shuffled back into the deck. So just burning that immediately makes sense as we do pass things over to Andrea here. Yeah, Andrea's got the Giratina in the active, which is quite nice. There's two things you really need. You need an Arceus and you need a double turbo. However, Christian is really threatening a KO on turn two here and plays Prime Catcher, which is a big deal because you cannot play Professor Sada and Boss's Orders in the same turn, but you can play Boss and Prime Catcher. Now, we know that Christian plays Prime Catcher. Mm -hmm. Andrea doesn't, so you kind of have to have a second Arceus here just in case. The good news is the first action is double Ball. <laughs> I'm in that house. <laughs> so it's open to him. It's going to be a Bidoof, though. That's yeah. one of the selections. The odds of getting your Arceus KO'd are very slim, but it is a possibility here. Yeah. I agree. And yeah. having 220 is actually huge because it means four energy for Raging Bolt, not three. Exactly right. Makes a big difference. I think there are more options available. You can just Ultra Ball, find another basic attach, and then I think Iona the entire hand away if you want to. But you could just hold on to these options as well for next turn. Depends how aggressively Andrea wants to play this out. We've done the double Nest Ball. We've got the Bidoof. We've got the Arceus. Of course, we saw how good Bibarel was in the previous game. So really, I mean, if you can just get a second Arceus and an attachment, this is almost perfect. I'm not seeing an attachment in hand yet, but we haven't seen a supporter. That will do. You could boss his orders, the Sandy Shocks as well, if you want to. Maybe that can slow down Christian, force an extra piece. It does make you more vulnerable to exactly Prime Catcher, <laughs> which is quite interesting to think about. You may be safer with the active staying active. Yeah, just going to be a pass. I don't. I, I think don't the awareness like of Prime Catcher is a smart choice here. Yeah, I agree. I think it was, a, was it a top deck of Professor Sada there? Uh, yes, it was. Nice. Yeah, so it definitely wasn't in hand. Yeah. We're not white knuckling a Poker Gear anymore. <laughs> we can Sada off the bat here for three cards. And we got the second energy on two. So we need two more. It's two energy or one? Yeah, we need two more energy here. Giratina is 220, yeah? Yeah, sure okay. is. Just double checking that's 220 as well. So two more energy needed. And uh, we've used our supporter card, so it would have to really be a two energy Palkia. It's possible, but that, that's the goal here. A two energy Palkia, and then I think you are in a superbly strong position. Because Andrea's not KOing next turn. Andrea's setting up. So if you can KO this Giratina, go up by two prizes knowing a return KO isn't coming that could be really fun let's see the Greninja two cards no help there unfortunately the discard nope. wasn't a water either so it was it was a long shot but oh, at yeah. least you can possibly even just discard the entire hand there with Raging Bolt EX if you want to burst raw you can discard and draw six if you feel like your hand right now isn't getting the job done it's one of my favorite things about Raging Bolt. It's something we don't always talk about, but the possibility of single energy on a basic Pokemon, being able to give you a whole new hand, and potentially get a bunch of energy in the discard, which you need for a lot of these decks, that can be a big thing. We did see the Poker Gear. It looks like you got that one of Irida. Yeah, maybe that just means we're throwing everything away, to be honest with you. I wouldn't hate it. The hand's not great. It does have a few switching cards in it. Looks like we're digging I think, some... Yeah, if we see the Sada taken here from Christian, it means we're holding the hand. Takes a boss's orders. Now I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> no, <laughs> that no is... guarantee that you want to get rid of boss's orders. There is um, a couple Palpad in the list, actually, for Christian. So really leaning heavily into the Poker Gear um, plus Palpad combo. So maybe you just throw everything away, knowing you can pad these back later. Yeah, he's going to do exactly that. Draw six fresh cards, thanks to Raging Bolt EX's Burst Raw, the first attack here. Drew and we're just leaning into the 240 hit points of Raging Bolt, hoping that you can sponge a hit for a turn. And you drew four energy, and there is an Ancient Vessel in there. So you've got an energy to discard there. You've got an energy to discard with Greninja. I like this. This is working very nice. Earthen Vessel, by the way. The Ancient Card, Earthen Vessel. Not Ancient Vessel. That'd be weird. And Andrea finally finds uh, V-Star on two. Everything's going to plan right now. Looks like he's going to pick up a Judge and possibly just a switching card here. If you are going for the Judge line of play, do you try and tackle the Greninja early? Oh, I guess the Prime Catcher is in the prize card, so you might just have to settle for a switch here and just punch into the Raging Bolt and hope that the Judge is disruptive enough in the opening turn here. I mean, you know your opponent doesn't have enough energy in the discard pile. They've not been able to do that very well. So they just did a big discard mm. draw six. They probably got a better hand than they had. 
so it's definitely worth a look I mean getting from a six card hand down to a four is clearly a decent shout and your opponent is still looking for the combo they don't have it on the board so the idea of hitting accelerating some energy hopefully surviving if you can survive next turn you're in a great position as Andrea here Andrea's thinking twice not sure about what the best choice is I think it was oh is it switch and what was that it was it was taken over a judge not sure if it was a supporter card or anything else I didn't see which one it was it is oh, Bibber barrel okay I don't mind that that's a draw engine draw engines are good <laughs> <laughs> so it is going to be boss's orders on that Greninja again trying to shut down the use of the Palkia's V-Star power by taking out one of the easy ways to discard water energy and remove some draw at the same time Wow, lots of basics found from the industrious incisors. And now Arceus V Star can take the first prize of the game. And we can also throw some energy into the play as well. I love this. You're getting loads of energy onto the Giratina. They got big attackers. We saw that a minute ago. You've got the first KO off the board. And sure, it's a single prize, but it's a Giratina. The Giratina is really annoying. I thought Giratina, sorry, Greninja. Greninja <laughs> is really annoying because it not just draws cards, it also gets energy into the discard pile so now we go back over to Christian and things has got a lot more awkward yeah you were banking on that Greninja unlocking a lot of your hand there is an earthen vessel as you mentioned Ross so we can at least activate Asada but again isn't for the full value that you're looking for things just haven't lined up ideally here Is Christian going to discard a water energy for Palkia or an energy for Sada I mean, you can still solder a water energy, but it's then trapping your Palkia's V-Star power, essentially. Yeah, you, you wanna... still need to ramp some damage here. No, I agree. You want to leave your water energy in the discard pile so that when you've got free... He's only playing four in the deck. But when you get three in there, out comes Palkia. 210 extra damage from your Raging Bolt. That's pretty good. Palkia's not a great attacker here because it doesn't hit enough damage to really get your Arceus or your Giratina. It's all about Raging Bolt, just KOing three of those bigger Pokemon, and that's it. That's your prize. Map. that's your win the good news is with Sada plus turn attachment even holding on to your V-Star power with Palkia you can take a knockout here for the 280 so you can get this minuscule value just to keep up in that race you'd actually go ahead in the race by taking the first two prize KO which as we've mentioned a few times is quite important in this matchup by the looks of things the one thing I will say... Oh, there is two energy, actually. Okay, so it's a bit better than I thought. That's not bad. So you've already got the KO on the board. You've got the 280. Yeah. Now you can bank an energy onto another Raging Bolt as well. You picked up the Nest Ball from the three cards from Sada. So you can get a turn attachment in also. I like this. I'm not loving the energy on Andrea's side of the board. There's not that many. It's yeah. not like last game where all the Giratina were all just ready to come in and smash. Yeah. And Christian is getting ready for return KOs. That's something I'm watching. For now, I'm loving Christian's turn. You've got two Raging Bolt. One's ready to go. The other one's starting to get built up. I mean, Christian's loving life right now. Yeah, it's worked out pretty nicely. The Sada for three cards were strong cards, and it means you're building back up the board here, even though you're going to be removing four of these five energy from play this turn. You're finally achieving lots of water energy in the discard pile at the same time. You're going up a prize here, and like you said, putting Andrea in an awkward position. If you use that Giratina, you're going to run out of steam. If you go into Arceus, you need to find a lot of cards to actually use it effectively, possibly even having to boss's orders. You're just going into the barrel here to start off the turn. Yeah, just leave it there, hoping you can pivot it later. There is the prime catcher onto Palkia of V-Star. There's a nice pivot. Yeah, this is also a way that you can try and deny some of Christian's burst damage next turn. As we're going to see three cards from the barrel. The energy was swung onto the Giratina, so I think you're just going to take the two prize KO and remove two energy from the active. Oh, with a Lost City as well. That was your caster pick for the weekend, yeah. Joe. I don't think it's necessarily big for this matchup. No, nope. not going to do that much yet. It's cool to see that Andrea is doing well with it, at the very least. I feel like it can help out, certainly against Lost Zone decks, control decks. But in the same way we said Palkia can add 210 damage, KOing the Palkia therefore means you're essentially denying yeah. 210 damage. That makes a big old difference. And so, Christian, I can certainly bring it back next time. We're going to need a Sandy Shock CX sooner rather than later. But it does. Both players are a little bit hurting for energy right now. Judge is spinning the wheel, though. Andre used this to great effect in game one. It helped him claw over the line. Let's see how this hand disruption works in game number two. Can Ultra Wolf a second bit barrel here as well? Just make sure they can keep topped up on cards. No issues there. 
it's just really more about what Kristen's drawn into, to be honest with you. Because if this Giratina's cleared away, you could be in big trouble. Yeah, the KO on the Giratina here will be huge. It might take Christian a turn or two to come back to get that third KO, but I feel like you're going to have time to do so. You need, well, you need four energy, so it's mm. going to be Sada and Sandy Shocks or yeah. Sada and Attachment. Yeah. And that'll exactly do it nicely. Right. We're having a look at resources remaining. If Andrea takes the two this turn, you could, in theory, use uh, Arceus V-Star to finish off the Sandy Shocks on Christian's bench. Then you get back to even prize cards, and then in using the Arceus attack, you then should be powering up another Giratina. So establishing another Giratina V here via the Hisuian Heavy Ball is a pretty good choice. Yeah, the Giratina is your big smasher here. Arceus is great for your setup, it's great for accelerating energy, it's great for searching out any cards. It doesn't do enough damage in matchups like this. The Pokemon you're against have too many hit points. So it looks like Giratina, is it ready to take the KO yet? Has Andrea done? Yes, everything they Ooh, need to. Interesting. Love this, you're keeping take an energy on. However, this could backfire. This could backfire big time. This is a big risk from Andrea. If you take both off the active, it means that if Christian gets a KO, you can still come back with an Arceus V-Star and win in two attacks. But Christian now, if he takes the KO, that's all energy off of Andrea's board. This is the turn of game two here. Oh yeah, the thought process is I only need to manually attach and I can use Giratina again. And it's right if Giratina's still sitting there. Now we do see the Sandy Shots coming down as predicted. Now it's... that Andrea's got fewer oh, than four prizes man. remaining. It's coming down to Mui X draws here. Yeah, it is. We can lower our hand size with Palpad, another nest ball. And we're putting two Sardas back into the deck and we're hoping that from, I think we can draw a fresh three cards here. We can hit a Sarda. And if that's the case, you'll be clearing a lot of energy off this ball, well, all the energy off Andrea's side of the field. This is a huge turn from Christian here. It's a very large deck still. You've not thinned out that much from the deck. There are mm. a lot of cards there, and you're only drawing three. I love pal padding the two Sada. That's lovely, but you're not drawing a huge amount of cards here, and that is a lot of cards left in deck. It is a 2-2 line of the Palkia V-Star, so you can get another Palkia V developed if you wish. I feel like that's a decent choice. Yeah, the V-Star is in deck, as is the V. It would just give you an option, not this turn, but certainly next mm. turn, if you need one more big KO. The other option, I suppose, would be a second Sandy Shock CX. That could still be handy, obviously, this turn, depending on how many fighting energy are currently in the discard pile. I th is it a once per Sandy Shocks? No, no it's once not. per Sandy Shocks. No, we're fine, I think. Yeah, so you can use multiple Sandy Shocks during your turn. It is going to be the Palkia, though. It opens up your V-Star power, so I think this is a decent choice. And I think you just turn attached to the active and hope for the best from these three cards from Mew EX here. Oh, this here is we go. coming down to it. Remember, there are a bunch of Poke Gear in Christian's deck. Yeah. So hitting that would also do as well as hitting... Well, it would at least give you... It's not as good <laughs> as hitting Sada, but it oh, gives you a this. choice. Doing the suspense, the oh. slow roll. Oh, he's happy. <laughs> he's found the oh, Sada. we hit the Sada off of the Mew to free. <laughs> that is absolutely huge, because now we're going to see the big KO with Raging Bolt. All the energy is going to be gone from Andrea's side of the board. Christian is going to be one KO away from winning this game, and actually, you're starting to really like the Palkia being down there. Trying to get the energy next turn is not going to be that difficult. You're going to need to manually attach the Raging Bolt and then use Palkia, and that's easily going to be enough. What a clutch. Uh, Mew EX there. Three cards from restart, completely changing this game. Christian is getting there in game two with probably enough time for a game three as well. We've said how fast paced this matchup can be. Christian even getting a second Sandy Shocks EX developed for the hand. That's we're going to take a KO here. I was going to say, we're going to keep one energy on the active saying, you know that Andrea can't deal with your active Pokemon right now. Yep. Goes down to two prize cards, picks up Prime Catcher as well, which is really important. Oh, nice. This isn't like your Lost Zone deck, right? We're not playing Mirage Gate. The, the energy acceleration is Arceus. Yeah, you're not... going to the Lost Zone. Judges on top of things here because of the Lost City. But yep. We are, well, look at this. Andrea just going to have to hope for the best. You can attach the active and Iono. I think is probably your best turn. Can you even get there? Can you lower your hand size enough? You can uh, use Squovert, of course, to help you out. 
Yeah, doing heavy ball played, but just... Just to burn the card. Yeah. And this is what you do. You Trinity charge onto the Giratina. You get some energy on there, and you hope that you're still alive next turn, such that you can evolve it up, add another energy, and off we go. It is not a great plan, but it's the best plan Andrea's got <laughs> right now. One card off the square bit is... OK, it's a free attachment, the choice belt. So you can draw an additional one from the barrel number one. And where is Iona? That's what we're hunting for. You're seeing it, Joe. I'm not seeing it. You There's can one. discard more cards to try again with the barrel number two. <laughs> you've oh got no, Ultra it is there. You've got Lost Vacuum. Oh, I it's only have found. Yeah, it's in there. It's a Padera Vars, Padera and Fates one, which is harder to spot, but it is there in hand. So now we do get the to two, but yeah. all Christian really needs here is energy. I mean, there's so many outs. Energy attachment, Palkia V Star will do it. Yeah. Energy attachment. Actually, I don't. You. I think just Professor Sada would do it because yeah. you can Sandy Shocks the fourth yeah. energy. True. So I think literally just Professor Sada would also do it. There are a bunch of different options. We're, we're dodging if we're Andrea here. But and you've got Mew to draw more your best parts. play was just if Andrea was going to go for this play, you know you have to win in two attacks anyway. So you could have just foregone the Trinity charge, just gone into a Bidu for a bit barrel and turn attached twice to Arceus, it means that you're forced to take out a Sandy Shocks next turn, so there were risks to it, but either way, you're relying on this Iono sticking. It's not a great set. Only Wait. one energy coming out of the deck as well. Oh. Christian's going through the motions. So how's Andrea attacking next turn, then? Well, Christian can just win on the spot here. If he's got the right combination of cards, there's a bunch of different options. There's I saw, a bunch I saw Poker outs. Stop. I'm not sure what else we can use to draw here. Obviously, if we can just reduce cards, we can use Mew X again that was so clutch on the previous turn. Yeah, starting with three cards in hand. There's a poker stop you can play down. There's all oh, Cypher Maniacs code breaking, and then Mew, that's going to do it. Wow. No, it's not, because you need... No, you, you can't use... No, you can't. Uh, you you can, can Cypher with, uh, yeah, Energy plus... Uh, V-Star? Yeah, so you side for the Energy plus V-Star, play down the Pokestop, draw two of you, and then you can V-Star power, attack for turn, or get the can, KO. we can just attack with Palkia, yeah. Or that, <laughs> that as well, too. if you want, Joe. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, we're going to a game three. Christian, with some big draws, getting back into the game here. Looked like a decent start from Andrea, getting an earlier Arceus V-Star this time, but like you said, just hunting down the energy on both sides of the board was pretty much the story of that game too. Yeah, and the Thing is Christian can keep getting that energy back. Sandy shocks. We still haven't actually seen a star portal. <laughs> we haven't actually seen that coming out yet. Palky V Star's V Star power hasn't been used at all, but it's mm. always there threatening. We have seen Professor Sada. We have seen the Sandy shocks now. And the problem with Andrea is you're under so much pressure so quickly, and you basically have to respond to a Giratina. So you need a couple of turns to build up your Giratina. And in game one, Andrea had that, and that's why that game went the way it did right <laughs> in game two you didn't have those turns and as soon as one giratina goes down you're like oh yeah andre kind of made the play both games just judge and hope that my 280 hit points is enough but we know christian's deck can just go haywire <laughs> and we saw in that game two where even without the palkia's v-star power you were able to reach just with sardas and attachments and that's more or less what we're going to see again <laughs> in this game number three andre again looking to weave in the arceus as much as possible uh, at least we'll be able to go first here and maybe can just establish a v-star earlier on the board and maybe even take energy off christian's side because i think those are the main things that you can do in defense here yeah, it's, it's funny because we've seen like both games now. We, we know exactly what each player is going for. <laughs> yeah. We have seen the matchups, we've seen the plan, we know what they're going for. And honestly, it really does look like if Christian can get a fast enough start, the matchup is theirs. Yeah, I think that's certainly the case. It's the aggressor. It has such high hit points. 240 on a basic. I it's know. just ridiculous. And it's, no weakness, just putting that yeah, out there. It's putting it way over the top and making life much more awkward for Andrea here. But we've seen in game one, they can make it a cat and mouse situation and slowly claw that board state back into their favor. So we'll see as we're getting into this third game. So we've just about enough time on the clock, I think, because there's so many multi-prizes in play. I feel like we should be okay. Yeah, we're going to have that plus three turns at the end of time yeah. as well. So we're slightly faster to play. We're going to make it. Prizes, Radiant Gardevoir, but that's about it. Yeah, I think we're fine with that. As we do start with Andrea, who has an Arceus start, as well as a double turbo energy attachment. That's pretty much all you're looking for, holding on to Ultra Ball for next there turn. So he's pretty content with everything. With the Giratina as well is perfect. Yeah, it's nice.
We're going to pass things straight up to Christian. Let's see how their star treats them. We've got a Palkia V coming down. Ooh, the V's dire in hand. I think Pokestop is the only thing that can unlock a Sada here. If you find Earthen Vessel or just discard an energy naturally, even Nestable can get you into Greninja. Ooh. Do we see? No. Well, Pokegear can get you a different supporter. There's Irida in the deck list. There's also that Iono. So I think we're trying to find something other than Sada here from the Pokegear. Yeah, you've got your Sada and it's not working out too nicely for you right now. Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh, Bustles. Yeah, there was not a what you want. No, no. It's certainly not what you want. It's an option. <sighs> oh, this is so rough. Does that mean you have to burst raw away your prime catcher? Oh, that's not ideal. If we're being honest here, Joe, that is not ideal. It's one of the only ways you can bank energy in the discard pile for a Sada on the following turn. I feel like it's not great, but it's the best you got. I feel like I would do it if I were in Christian's shoes, because again, you, you need to be fast, you need to be aggressive. That's the whole point of this deck. Taking a couple of turns to set up your hand in perfect, I mean, that is not where you want to go. If Andrea gets a couple of turns to accelerate energy onto Giratina, it is going to go very badly, because Christian needs to keep getting the energy out. If Andrea sets up a couple of Giratina, they're basically set for the game. We're going to see the boss's orders trying to make life a little bit more awkward for Andrea. And then we're just going to throw the cards away because we're seeing six fresh ones with the attack from Raging Bolt EX there. Oh, losing a power pad and a Sada as well as the prime catchers, not ideal. But you at least you're going to be rolling next turn. You've got, I don't know if you've got Sada, but you've at least got Poke Gear. Yeah. And I think drew into the other Palkia V-Star as well. That can yes. also help out with your damage output. So all things considered, it's not the worst hand to sit on. And you're hoping that with the boss trapping play, you've made it more difficult for Andrea to weave in Judge. I think that's the thing you're still very afraid of in this spot. Yeah, Judge now would be harsh. When you're not setting up perfectly, when you've not had a good start, Judge would be really, really mean. So it looks like we are just grabbing the Arceus D-Star here. And this is textbook star. Turn two, you've got your Arceus, you've got your double turbo. And double turbo is great because it means you can normally find the basic energy and you can use your V-Star power for two other cards. You Although he's still going getting an energy, apparently. <laughs> well, because this one has special text on it. <laughs> the jet energy allows you to not only get that attachment, but you also jump straight into the active position. Yeah, and it do. is that judge once again. The main defense Andrea has used every single game here is that we're just going to attack. We know we can't take a KO, but we're hoping that with a clunkier start from Christian, this judge can really put them in a bad spot. Yeah, and if all you need, I mean, if you can get a two-hit KO with Arceus while setting up your Giratina, that is going to be absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. That is a perfect situation here. Do you put in Christian again? Kind of on a one-turn clock. Like, I've hit you. I haven't KO'd you. Um, you, you. You piece it together in a turn, can you? Just a Without please don't hit shots. me situation. <laughs> this is a risky judge from Andrea, though, because typically you see some Bidoof and Bibarrel in the back. Yes. Let's see what these four cards are. Oh, Ultra Ball into Bibarrel means you can Bidoof this turn and hold Bib for next. So that's at least a huge hit yeah, from you're his not... four cards. Yeah, you're going to have something to go for. I, I like this from Andrea. We get the damage on the board. There's a Bidoof down. Free energy, no mucking about, all straight onto the Giratina. And you're off and rolling. If you can do that again next turn, things are looking great. And Andrea really is just crossing his fingers at this point. How did the four cards treat Christian plus the top deck? Well, there's at least an earthen vessel, there's nest ball, there's ways to draw for Christian. Yeah, might have Not sure to if there's a Sada there yet. I mean, Mew would work if you've got nothing else. Maybe Raiding yeah. Greninja as yeah. well. Greninja, still more energy to throw. Oh, there is already a Sada in hand. This oh. Is, oh, boy. This is going to be a high-tempo turn from Christian. This is going to work, then, because you manually attach. You can Sada for two. You're going to have the four energy. So th this is good. Andrea's going to have a return KO. Well, then what do you do the extra damage with? Do you really want to lost zone two energy to do the extra 60 damage to a Raging Bolt? I don't. Well, maybe you just shred and like attach to a Arceus next turn. But yeah, things are going to get weird now. <laughs> like Andrea's plan A was judge and hope that I tank. That's out the window, <laughs> just straight away. <laughs> As uh, Christian's going to continue to draw some more cards here with Greninja first, throwing away a water energy. It would be ideal if you could attach more to a second Raging Bolt TX here. That'd be no amazing. ball search coming in though. Perhaps three more cards from the Professor Sada here. I mean, one thing which would 
One thing that is interesting to note, there's no real difference between 220 and 280 most of the time here. It's still just four energy on a raging bolt. It yeah. can be relevant with Palkia, but most of the time it doesn't really matter. So you don't have to evolve. You can shred and hope it survives and then V-Star the following turn. Oof. I don't love it. Let's no. be honest here, Joe. I'm not <laughs> loving it. But Christian drew out of the judge, yeah, so this is where, where we are. are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the only good news is that it's all the energy off the board once again, so it's like another rebuild situation. For Christian, it's like a constant rebuild, this deck, as we are going to see a huge V-Star uh, V -star knockout, 280 damage from Christian. <laughs> Lost Cities are instantly replayed, and then the Barrel gets five fresh cards here. Nice. Andrea looking for some backup Pokemon and energy. Well, there's Arceus attachment, so we've achieved that goal. Yeah, that'll work quite nicely. I feel like you have to just shred this turn. You can't afford to remove more no. energy from the board. You can use Nest Ball to get more uh, Bidoof down, maybe even Squovitz. I know it's not an option, but I would love to see another Arceus V-Star here. Take the KO while building up another Giratina would be amazing. It's not an option, but that would be lovely. We do see Squovit coming down to yeah. join his friends. You could even Squovit this turn, I think. I'm not sure if there's a supporter in hand, so you could just have a lucky dip for a supporter, perhaps. <laughs> Always a fun plan. Oh, it's a V-Star for next turn, so you probably just hold the hand, honestly. Yeah. The V-Star's not the worst card to have. Andrea just thinking, and shred the best line. I feel like it has to be here. You've got to get the Keep KO. Keep up in the race, yeah. yeah. You can't get rid of any energy. Oh, oh. oh it's a Giratina V-Star. I thought it was an Arceus, but it's oh, Giratina no. V-Star. No, it's, it's definitely oh, I think Tina. Shred has to be better here. I still prefer Shred. I don't like getting rid of energy. And again, it's unless you're really worried about Palkia, you, you can just... It doesn't make yeah. much difference. There's still a fourth energy needed to KO. Andrea sort of begrudgingly takes what I think is the safer call, the more winning call, which yeah. is just keep hoping that your V Pokemon can tank here. It's not perfect, but it might might do the job in the long run. And to be fair, you're putting Christian in an awkward situation. They still need a lot to get this working. Eyeing up the Palkia V here in the active now for Christian. There's Irida in hand, there's Mew EX picked up as well. So we need eight bench Pokemon total, plus the V-Star, and then use the V-Star power to get the two energy. I believe eight times two is 160, add the 60 bases, 220. This is what I meant about the difference between the V and the V-Star. It's only relevant for Palkia V-Star. I still think Shred was the right way to go, <laughs> but this is probably where you want to be as Christian. Yeah, a couple more draws. Ooh, the Ultra Ball pickup and Nest Ball. I think that now means you can Irida to get that full bench and V-Star here. Nice. We are, they're there already. There's eight yeah. bench spots between the two players. Yeah. You just need the V-Star. The V-Star will get its own energy. Yeah, we're chilling. I think it's going to be going down to two prize cards this turn for Christian, and that Palkia V-Star is so dangerous. The best part of this entire strategy is that you're going to have your energy just on tanky Pokemon now. So yes. that Raging Bolt can really look towards sweeping the end of the game here, as we do see the Irida as expected. This is what we were worried about, running out of Giratina. Problem is, if you had gone for the V-Star, you get rid of two of the energy off the board, there's no great way to refill it, and there's still a chance yeah. Raging Bolt gets a KO anyway. Yeah, <laughs> that was the problem. It, it was a low odds play either way from Andrea. Yes. I feel like the most winning play for you is the line taken, but it's turned out that the hand was good enough from Christian to get into a really good spot now. Yeah. They're still not locked by any means, but they're, they're putting themselves in the best position. You can Ultra Ball as well. You can start getting Sandy Shocks if you wish, whilst also lowering your hand size for Mui X draw. Yeah, I love Sandy Shocks. You want to be using that as early as possible, getting as much energy as possible out of the discard and onto your Christian's Pokemon. discard pile is absurd right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on over there. <laughs> so messy. But Water Energy is coming back, that's the most important thing, and it's going to be a power pad for a couple Sada here. Oh, nice. This is a really big reload, because that's one of the only things that you require now to win the game with Raging Bolt next turn. Do we know if there's fighting in the discard? Yeah, there has to be. You would think so, right? We've discarded so many at this point. I think we did it last turn as well. Chris Ooh. is going to hold on to everything, and is just going to take a knockout with the Palkia V-Star here. Yeah, it does 20 more than you need, does 240 total. That is going to work very nicely. Yeah, Andrea has to come up with some panic plays, I think, at this point. 
some trapping might be involved. <laughs> You can't deal with this Raging Vault too easily. No, Maybe you trap something else for a turn, power up Giratina, then deal with Raging Vault all in one turn. That's what I'm coming up with, but it's a lot of steps. It's a get lot there. of steps, and the problem is all Christian needs next turn is some kind of switch and a fighting energy, and you're already getting a KO, and that will be the game at that point, incidentally. So, no Or even manual retreat and use the Professor Sada and attach for turn, or just use Sandy There's a lot of combos. Sada. There's There's a lot so of <laughs> That's what I love about this Raging Vault deck. You've got so many options to get the energy out. You've often got seven different combinations of cards that'll get you that last KO. We're going to kick things off with a stash. We're going to squove it away and then draw up with the barrel. Prime Catch is a good piece. That can be a defensive card you can use here. You can set up a single prize Pokemon, possibly this turn, and just try and hide. <laughs> hide while you figure out a better strategy. Hide while you accelerate lots of energy with Arceus. Problem is, at some point, you're going to have to take a KO. Oh, yeah. And when you take a KO, Christian's going to be like, oh, wait, I can hit 280. Well, that's, so you have to, the first thing you knock out has to be the Raging Bolt. Yes. Right? That's what you have to do. So you have to try and trap something for a turn. Whilst you always want one of these Pokemon to tank, you bring up uh, maybe the Sandy Shocks. Sandy Shocks has a two retreat cost. Maybe you bring that up. Oh, it's actually going to be the, yeah, the single prize Sandy Shocks coming into the active here. You can then play Judge. Maybe if you can Trinity Charge into a Giratina V, that's probably your best case scenario here. That's knowing that then you for. can gust back up the one Raging Bolt EX in play from Christian. Like I said, it's a foggy path, but it's kind of what we've got to do here. Oh, I'm, I'm sure it's the best option to go for. It's it's going to be awkward. And just because Raging Bolt gets go does not mean another Raging Bolt will not come to right. avenge his <laughs> fallen friend. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. But it is at least adding steps to what Christian needs to do in order to take the win next turn. Yeah, great way to phrase it, to be honest. Let's see four cards. Can we even use an Arceus this turn? Oh, double oh, the switch with the Giratina V. We can at least get rid of the Poker Stop for just some disruption and just a pass. Oh, well, yeah, we're hanging out. We're, we're trying to just throw up a single prize Pokemon and buy some time right now. Not ideal. We've seen, have we seen the Prime Catch from Christian? Uh, did we use it with Palkia last turn? I feel I we like did. we've used it, yeah. Which is not... Oh, he came out turn one. He had it in hand turn one. No, discarded it turn one. Ah, was it the burst rule? Yeah, yeah, it was discarded with burst rule turn one. So that's not going to be an option. So that is going to make life more awkward because Christian still probably, no, still definitely needs to <laughs> Sada. I don't mind even just Sada to the active here and get a second attachment in and you can use the second attack of Sandy Shocks, just a power gem and just take a one prize KO whilst also like putting energy across your board. I still think seems reasonable. I like that, because then it makes it even more awkward. It means Andrea cannot be putting something like a Bidoof up to try and sure. do the same thing next turn. So, yeah, if you can take prizes, why not? Get a Sada, <laughs> attach. Yep, I think that's what we're, looking, what we're looking for. Also means, obviously, you can retreat next turn more easily just by putting energy onto the active. Oh, yes. And you've still got Sandy Shocks to potentially get an extra energy out as well. So that would get you free energy in addition to the two that were on Sandy Shocks. So it would mean a manual attachment next turn for the win. It's a decent plan if you can pull it off. Christian, just making sure they're not missing a beat here. They're actually going to collapse away Raiding Greninja. Maybe they've just gone through so many energy at this point. And this is the way that you can get one Mew EX draw. A little bit cheeky. Another Sarda comes to the hand. I think that's three Sarda in hand. That's not bad. But yeah, energy to the active definitely makes sense. I think ideally you draw into more energy now, so you can attack with the active Pokemon. You're keeping energy in the discard pile, so you can use your Sandy Shock CX at different points in the game. Oh yeah, there is more energy coming to the hand, so you can just take out this bit barrel here. Oh, I love this. There's the energy on Sandy Shocks. You're going to end this turn with free energy on the board for Raging Bolt and the correct two attached. Yeah. So all you need is a Sandy Shocks ability or an energy attachment from hand or a Professor Sada <laughs> and you've That's got it. enough to KO anything <laughs> yeah. next turn. And because you're going to have to one prize, you don't need any gusting or any of that. Yeah. So... And even uh, the worst case scenario, if the Raging Bolt EX is somehow KO'd magically over a couple of turns now, you can just win with the Sandy Shocks that's currently in the active spot with a gust as well. So you've shut basically every door for 
from Andrea now, especially with the backup of Mui X drawing you a little couple extra cards at some point as well. Feels like Christian's put himself in the perfect position here. And time has been called. I think Christian is going to win on his very last turn of time. Andrea could try and stall and get a tie here, but you would have to get the Sandy Shocks. But yeah. even that's not perfect, because you can <laughs> use the ability and attack the turn and hit for 200. A big earthen spike. <laughs> Which right now would KO anything on Andrea's board anyway. Well, let's see what Andrea can do. The back's against the wall, there's no doubt about that. The Squovitz come in, and we see a Nest Ball. Not sure if there even are Giratina V. That would be the chunkiest Pokemon. Oh, there's an Iron Leaves EX. That's, I suppose, your tankiest two-prize Pokemon right now. Might have to be. There's it's nothing you can really instead. Yep. trap in the active, because you've got a bunch of attackers and a free retreating Mew EX. So there is Giratina being popped into the active, saying to Christian, I don't think you can pull this off. But of course Christian there can, because he can just retreat and use Sandy Shocks the X. Yes. There's the four energy, there's the KO, and Christian takes his two prizes to one. Wow. Two games to one. Yeah, I did not think we'd be seeing top 